is the caravan park we are staying at. Cool. Mini golf. So we've kind of got this little nook here to ourselves. It is pet friendly. It is. And we've got our camp chairs out, which ha hasn't happened much lately. Only since we hit Darwin. So it's kind of nice to have a little seat in the mornings with our coffee. It's time to head to Litchfield National Park. There is heaps of stuff to see in this national park, so we're getting started. We're gonna go today, check out a few spots, and then we're gonna make a full day out of it tomorrow because I think that a park that sounds this awesome needs a few days to explore. Litchfield Park! Can't yeah! wait! Okay, I think they get the point. Right. Let's go. We're here. Brad's setting up the tripod for the obligatory sign photo. Don't you love my tripod? Mm, I love it. I love setting up for photos. Photo ops, yeah. Woo photo ops. Love standing out in the sun, getting my photos, <laughs> having flies crawl over me. Love it. We made it to our first stop in Litchfield, and that was to check out the Termite Mountains. The way that they're standing to me looks like it's a graveyard. Welcome to the Yobek graveyard of a lost civilization up here in the Northern Territory. Were they <laughs> alien species? I don't know. Maybe we're just led to believe that they're termites. You call conspiracy? I call conspiracy. They're actually little space pods full of little green. Now there are two types of termites here, the magnetic termite and the cathedral termite. Um, the magnetic termites, they are blind and they actually build their nests with a magnetic compass naturally built into them. The cathedral termites, they don't worry about north and south orientation like the magnetic termites. They just build massive mounds on um, very drainable ground. Whereas the magnetic termites, they don't build on drainable ground, it's all solid. The magnetic termite mounds are these tombstone shaped mounds. When you take a look at these magnetic mounds, the sun is constantly kept on one side of the termite mound, keeping temperatures very consistent throughout the whole hive. Ah, so this mound is over 50 years old. So how long do these mounds traditionally last for and how do they move all that material? How do they stick it all into that, into place? That's a question to ask a termite expert or Google. <laughs> it's really impressive that something so small can build something so big. One of the many waterfalls and water holes in Lechfield Park. It's beautiful, busy, but beautiful. So we're here, we went for a swim, now we're going to get some footage and some photos and keep going on to the next watering hole. This is just the bottom of the rock pools in this area. We will come back and We're going to have to come back to show you. The top. We think, we think, we? Yeah, we think it's better than the top. And the pests aren't too bad out here. Hey. Knock on wood. You just called them. They're all crawling all over me. I should have just corrected myself and say that I have Agnes with me so she attracts all the pests. Yeah. Including me. <laughs> it is true. He is such a pest. But a lovable pest. I'm pretty sure based on the car park alone, I'm already liking the look of this spot a little bit more. There's no massive crowds. I agree. And there's nothing like some ice cold water. Freeze it before you start your day. And it's a great little treat the rest of the day. I 
I can't wait to get to Surprise Creek. She's a bit bouncy. There's a few corrugations on the road. <laughs> Crikey, mate! I think it's time we explored the lost city! All jokes aside, I'm looking forward to my first natural crikey. I don't think it's happened yet. Has it happened yet, Brad? You. One day. One day I'll be Australian enough just to say crikey nat naturally, rolling off the tongue. How's your, uh, how's your water? Warm and chlorinated. Mmm. Mmm. At least it's wet. Go for some rum or beer right now, but this warm chlorinated water will have to do.